Hi, welcome to your training on troubleshooting call quality issues. In this course, you will learn all the necessary steps it takes to troubleshoot a call quality issue on an outbound PRI line. When troubleshooting a call quality issue on a PRI inbound line, the first thing you need to do is make sure you have run through your initial steps training video and have obtained the name of the caller, the date, and the time of the incident that the issue occurred, the issue itself, and check the PBX for threshold limits, concurrent call limits, and need to check to see if there's any SIP attacks taking place as well. If any of these issues are occurring, you or your network administrator will need to get these resolved before continuing with your troubleshooting steps. Next, you will need to obtain a call recording of the issue that is occurring and listen to the recording to see if you can detect the issue. If the PBX can detect the issue, then that is how the PBX received the audio. You would then need to watch the video on how to troubleshoot a call quality issues over extension to extension. If the PBX cannot detect the issue, then that means the card or modules are most likely the culprit and you need to continue with step three. In step three, you will need to check the echo cancellation module. Sometimes the hardware echo cancellation module can be the source of the problem. In order to confirm if the module is creating the issue, you need to confirm if the hardware echo cancellation is actually installed by following these steps. The first thing you need to do is reboot the PBX in order to restart the drivers. While the driver is being reloaded, it will generate a message related to the module detected in the card. When rebooting the system, any calls on the system will be dropped. Next, you will need to download the TSR report. You can do this by clicking on Server, then Technical Support, and then click on Download TSR. Third, you will need to rename the extension file from .svt to .tar. Then, in step four, open the compressed file, tmp data.tar var log DMS or messages. After you have opened the compressed file, look for the section in which Dottie is being loaded, and each of the card drivers will start with WCT or WSA, and check for the messages related to VPM enabled and servicing X channels. Finally, you will need to disable the hardware echo cancellation module. You can do this by navigating to server, telephony cards, then under the hardware echo cancellation section, select disabled and click on save hardware echo cancellation. Keep in mind, this will restart your server and any calls will be dropped or lost. After you have disabled the echo cancellation module, you will need to place a test call. If after placing the test call, the issue doesn't continue, you will need to re-enable the echo cancellation module to confirm that the problem follows the module. If the problem is with the module, check for warranty and RMA the module. But if there is no warranty, then you will need to consider purchasing a new module. If after placing the call with the hardware echo cancellation disabled and the issue does continue, you will need to re-enable the echo cancellation module and continue with your troubleshooting steps. In step four, you will now need to confirm that the settings for echo cancel, echo training, and echo tail length in the channel group configuration are set to default settings. If changes have been made, revert those changes back to the default settings. 
Then continue with your troubleshooting steps and place a call to see if that alleviates the issue. If it alleviates the issue, then it was just a setting within your channel group configuration. If not, then you need to continue with your troubleshooting steps and check the hardware. We are going to do this by deleting the telephony card and the channel group configuration first, shut down the PBX, then disconnect the cables, and remove the PRI card. Then check the echo cancellation module to make sure it's secure, and reseat the PRI card back into its original slot, or if a new PCI slot is available, insert it into the new PCI slot, reboot the system, reconfigure the card in the channel groups, and place a test call. Let's get started. To troubleshoot the hardware, the first thing we need to do is to delete the PRI channel groups. You can do this by going to Setup, Channel Groups, identify the appropriate channel groups to delete, which would be the PRI data channel and the PRI bearer channels and click the red X to delete each channel group configuration. Remember, when you delete the channel group configuration or the telephony card, the system will reboot and any calls will be lost. Next, you will need to delete the telephony card and shut down the PBX. Go to Server, select Telephony Cards, then select the appropriate telephony card and click Delete. Go back to Server, click on System Reload, and click on Server Shutdown. Then you'll need to disconnect all the cables from the PBX and remove the PRI card from the system. You will need to open up the PBX. Remove all the necessary screws so you can disconnect the PRI card. After you have disconnected the PRI card, ensure the module is properly and fully seated on the PRI card. If the PBX has an additional PCI slot, then try installing the PRI card into the different slot. If there is not an additional PCI slot, then reseat the card back into the original PCI slot. Keep in mind, sometimes dust can get into the PBX, and ensuring your system is dust-free is also a best practice. Next, rehook up all the cables and reboot your system. Turn on the Switchbox PBX, and upon reboot, the software should detect the card immediately. If not, click on Server, then Telephony Cards, and click Scan for new devices. Next, you're going to reconfigure your channel groups. You would do this by clicking on Setup, then select the channel groups. From here, you'll create both channel groups, the bearer channel group and the data channel group. So click on Create Channel Group, then give it a name, Select the device type, which would be PRI P1E1 Bearer Channel Group. Then you would need to select the secondary device type, which would be PRI CPE side. Then select the channels to be assigned to this group and click Save Channel Group. Next, you will set up the data channel group. Click on Create Channel Group. Next, give it a name, then select PRI T1E1 Data Channel, then select the secondary device type, which is no signaling, select the channel, and then click on Save Channel Group. After you have completed all the steps in Step 5, you will need to place a test call to see if this alleviated the issue. If receiving the PRI card did not alleviate the call quality issue, then you will need to run through all the steps in Step 5 again, but this time remove the module completely and place another test call without the echo cancellation module installed to see if this fixes the problem.
If that alleviates the issue, then you would need to check to see if the module is under warranty and RMA the module. If the module is not under warranty, then suggest or consider purchasing a new module. If the audio does not improve, then you need to continue with some additional troubleshooting steps. If removing a module does not alleviate the issue, then check to see if they have a dual span card and peer the spans and place a test call between the spans. See the KB article on how do I peer a PRI. If the peered calls experience audio quality issue, check to see if the card is under warranty and issue an RMA for the card. If not, consider purchasing a new card. If the audio issue does not persist, then the issue is not caused by the card and you will need to try some additional troubleshooting steps. If all else fails, then you can hook up a loop back connector or cable to the PRI port, then check the advanced error logs to see if any HDLC errors are being generated. If HDLC errors are detected, check to see if the PRI card is under warranty and issue an RMA for the card. If no errors are detected and the issue still persists, see the KB article on running a DOTI monitor. I am confident if you run through all of these steps, you will be able to find the audio quality issue. Now let's run through what we have learned today. So in step one, you need to follow your initial steps video and gather the pertinent information about the call quality issue. In step two, you will need to get a call recording, listen to the call recording so you can identify the issue. In step three, you need to check the echo cancellation module. In step four, you will confirm the channel group configuration, echo cancel, echo training, and echo tail length. In step five, you will check the hardware. You will do this by disconnecting the PRI card, checking the echo cancellation module, reseeding the PRI card, and reconfiguring the channel groups within SwitchFox. In step six, you will peer the lines and run the DOTI monitor if all else fails. Thank you for attending.